So this just in, this is a cartridge for the ColecoVision that appears to play every single one of the Sega SG-1000 games, and you can play it by using this one multi-game cartridge on your ColecoVision console. So let's uh, let's crack this sucker open and uh, and let's see what we've got here. So I'm going to unbox this. This is brand new from the team in the Netherlands that brought us for the ColecoVision Aztec Challenge and Wordle. And now they have come up with a way to put all 90 SG-1000 games onto one multi-cart playable on your ColecoVision. So let's see what we've got here. All right, we've got the SG-1000 cart. And we've got inside the documentation for it. So pretty straightforward, just gives a list of games. And again, like there's a lot of things on here. So, some of my favorite uh, ColecoVision homebrews, like Elevator Action, Girls Garden, Golgo 13, these were all SG-1000 games that were ported over. And as you can see, there's, there's quite a lot of them on here. James Bond, CISO, Choplifter, Circus Charlie, Congo Bongo, Droll, Elevator Action, Girls Garden, Hero, lots of really cool stuff to play. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, the SG-1000 and the ColecoVision, they, they, they kind of do have a little bit of history. The, 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 this is the original SG-1000, or actually this is the SG-1002 game system from Sega. And in a way, this console here in Japan, it kind of was like the Japanese ColecoVision. Both of these consoles share a lot of very similar technology. In fact, if you guys remember when Telegames released the personal arcade, this was a ColecoVision clone that actually played both ColecoVision and SG-1000 cartridges. That's how similar the two systems are. So it kind of makes sense to actually have a game cartridge where we can now play all of those amazing, awesome, fun Sega games on the ColecoVision. So let's actually go pop this into the uh, ColecoVision and, and see what we've got. All right. We fired up the SG-1000 cart. And uh, as you can see, we've got the intro screens. Now I, I'm playing this on a very basic vanilla uh, no modded uh, ColecoVision, so it's actually running through RF, so you can see, uh, so now, now we're at the main menu, and you can see it says use control pad one or two to select. I can push up and down on the controller here, or I can press left or right to go through. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it really looks like all the games are here. Let's, uh, let's go through and play one of my favorites. I've always been a fan of, uh, of Girls Garden. Th this actually, Team Pixel Boy released this as a homebrew. But this game was actually the very first game made by uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog designer. You know, it's, it's, it's a very simple game. You just have to go through here, collect these flowers, avoid the bears and the bees. But it's a pretty challenging game. Okay, hit zero to go back to the main menu. And let's try something like, how about, hang on. Let's see, here we go. Now, a lot of these, these uh, SG-1000 games, like I said, they, they really are reminiscent of, of what you would have expected an original ColecoVision game to look like in the 80s. I mean, the system itself was very similar hardware-wise to what a ColecoVision is. All right, let's go back to the main menu. How about, oh, Guzzler. Guzzler is an arcade game that uh, um, I don't think uh, any of the homebrewers have reported this one. Let's see how many of you guys remember this one, where you basically have to go through and collect the water, and then shoot shoot the water at these fire dudes. I've collected water. Yeah, that's that's kind of another obscure arcade game. All right, let's see. Let's go through the list. Hypersports, Kings Valley, Load Runner. Mikey, Monaco GP, N Sub, Ninja Princess. And I'm sure you're recognizing a lot of these have been released as homebrews over the years. So let's see, what else do we have here? Sinbad Mystery, Rock and Bolt, Space Invader, Star Force, Star Jacker. So, so many good games on, on, on this one thing. Right, let's load up something like Star Force. And again, this is another one that Team Pixel Boy ported over. But again, it's just kind of nice to have it all in one, one place, one cartridge.
again, another fun shooter. All of these SG-1000 games are actually a lot of fun, and it's definitely worth having these all on one cartridge, easy to play. All right, back to zero. Now, I will say the one reason why I'm playing this on an original ColecoVision, it does not work with the Collector Vision Phoenix. So if you have a Collector Vision Phoenix, um, I don't believe you'll be able to use this cartridge. All right, so let's go up and look at something like, what is Space Mountain? I'm a roller coaster fan, so Space Mountain sounds like fun. I'm assuming it's not a roller coaster game. Nope, it is a shooter. Hey, I, 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 I can do that. I like roller coasters, but I also like shooters. It's kind of Starfire-like, isn't it? For those of you guys who remember the XD game Starfire, kind of reminds me of that, but I died. All right, let's go back up here. Just going through the list here. Again, this is this is a, a, a really good list of games. Hero, Guzzler, we got that. Flicky, Elevator Action, Draw. Again, Elevator Action, another favorite of mine. It was great to have the homebrew out there, but it's also nice to have it here on this cartridge. Let's see, there we go, there I am in the elevator. And I died already, what the hell? Go back to the main menu. Again, as you can see, I, I think this is a really cool cartridge to have. Um, all of these games in one spot. It's, it's uh, it, it, like I said, again, if you missed out on some of the homebrews that have come out over the years, this is a great way to have all these cartridges in, in or all these games on one cartridge. And even stuff like Droll. Droll, like I played the crap out of this on my Commodore 64. Like, I love that this actually got a console port to something like the uh, SG-1000. Don't shoot the little girl. All right, so there you have it. I would highly recommend picking up the SG-1000 cart from the uh, the guys over at Dragonfly Amusements and uh, Digital Fluff. This is, this is definitely worth having all these games on one cartridge. Um, it, it's, it's just a really cool piece of hardware. I like the fact that this is now available. It kind of puts all these games in, in one nice spot. And uh, I'm going to enjoy playing this quite a bit. There you go.